Pezza, we are almost at the end of this here, the first test match between Australia and the West Indies, or the third test match, if you include it as a sort of a 24-month or indeed a 12-month program. Um, and I, I can I can scarcely remember in my life, Pezza, more people being pissed off at something, like some element of what we're seeing, whether it be your guy that you like not selected in the team, people being moved around in the team for, to facilitate someone that they deem not good enough, the opposition not good enough. Why is no one at the ground? You know, like there, there are so many elements to be angry about if that's how you live your life. I'm looking at like just, just like one of the best eras of Australian cricket. Like that's like, it's not as good as the Invincibles. It's not as good as Steve Waugh's teams, Ponting's team, that sort of meshed era. It's not as good as those, but it's like, it's... It's just one of the best. And like England have been playing some electric cricket, kind of jealous they get to watch a lot of that stuff. It's really good. New Zealand had an era where they didn't play enough, where they had a great team, obviously won the World Test Championship, Mace or the Lollipop or whatever that thing is. Don't play enough tests at home. That's a disgrace. Pakistan, the wickets are shit there. Haven't played at home for ages anyway. Um, India, legacy team, don't win shit um, apart from beating Australia consistently. So, you know, other teams have good things too, but like this team, fuck, it's good. But so many people, man, are just fucking pissed off. And so I want to know, what are you pissed off about? And you are in turn pissed off at them. I mean, I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm thinking... Exactly. You know, you don't need to show off that you've, you've started a gratitude diary. Uh, I'm sorry to, <laughs> sorry to give that away uh, in public, but the gratitude diary that you write in morning <laughs> and night <clears throat> and then reporting to LinkedIn with... Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that's just the life that we live. Like, it, it is the great theory of Australian sport where, like, once you read a certain level, every other team will be judged by that level, like, irrespective. And you're right. This team is very, very, very good. And they've done a lot of really good things. They don't destroy or annihilate every team all the time or win away from home in the hardest of conditions when no one else can. Okay. So what are we going to do about that? The other thing they do wrong is they don't represent the fucking de demonic soul of the nation the way some people would like them to. You know, in fact, they ousted a certain ideology and they'll never, ever be forgiven. It looks like they're about to win this test match potentially by an innings uh, in just over two days. You could go through the side, as I think shareholder 1327 did on Patreon. And uh, yep. and make mount a really good case that we should be upset with at least eight out of the eleven. <laughs> what? So, you know, it's like Ryan Gosling. What do you want? Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm I don't, like, and I kind of see where they're coming from. <laughs> Why are the eyes painted on? Mm, unpopular opinion. It could go very quickly. It could go very quickly. 37 years, 37 uh, digits. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? You go, yeah. you go through. Mars and Smith, they've looked dog shit for years. Let's be real. You know? Uh, yeah. Hetty, about time. Let's, let, 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 let's, mm. let's, let's be right about it. Mitch Marsh, Purple Patch, what's next? Cam Cameron Green. You know? Shave your head, come back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. That, uh, that they're, they're just the batters, you know? Um, mm. Alex Carey. Well, hello. Uh, uh, you know? And then, and then the, and the bowlers. Okay, I like it. It's discipline. There's some numbers being uh, stockpiled in, the feed, mm. in a feed bag summer with a couple of good decks to bowl on. It's disciplined and it's not, it's not doing much trapping-wise. Okay. Mm. Yes, you can mount an argument. For Hazelwood at the moment, it's Banjo Patterson stuff. It's Snowy River. It's Clancy. It's the man from Ironbark. It's a, it's a bush horse unbridled in the saddle. You know, um, paradoxically tamed and untamed, a symbol of uh, you know life and resistance to state control. Okay, you could mount that argument uh, in the mounting yard for Josh Hazelwood. Not for him, the Australian Light Horse Regiment. He's a wild brumby who does his work in the high country. Okay, and that's good. Why do I, why do we as a society feel perennially bereft of satisfaction? You know, is that the gift and the curse of Steve Waugh and his men? 
you know? The, Cummins has tried to actually remove this team from that. They, he is deliberately... This will be the great lasting legacy of Pat Cummins is that he has picked this team up and ideologically removed it from being a, um, a poor shadowed continuum of what Steve Waugh built, the mythology of the baggy green in the Howard era, mining boom, baggy greens at Wimbledon, etc. Cummins is smart enough to go, that's not us, we create our own identity. The problem he's got now is that those guys were very, very good at cricket and these guys are like one less very. Mm. So that's what yeah. I think. Oh, I thought Stark was expensive and, and Lyon hasn't been the same since he limped off at Lords. <laughs> um and, and and don't even get me started on 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 solar panel pat on on Captain Planet. Mm. Um you know, is is his bag and grain made of eth- ethically sourced hemp? Yeah. And w- once and again, dog, what was dogs. his transportation to this game? Game set match, mm. checkmate, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I just feel like there are so many people that have been fucking desperate for something to go wrong for the team. And, like, they haven't won every single game in the last 12 months. That is a fact of what has happened or what hasn't happened. Or our. Um, and so, like, and so the conversation, like, just pivots to other things that have been wrong. And, and like, it, I, I sort of like it in the sense that I, I do think that this like constantly nothing is ever good nothing is ever enough actually drives australian cricket to like this um supreme level of dominance like that and so like that that level of arrogance means you can win the world cup away in india in those circumstances like those things kind of happen because like like we're just fucking psychopathic mm. like about never being happy like if if any other literally any other country that plays this sport of which there are now about 3 had a team that this team, ha- like the, the Australian team has and the things they've achieved, it would be fucking open top bus parades, oh. keys to the city, everything. Yep. We can barely organise a painting in our studio for Hedy. Mate, 100%. <laughs> and like, I mean, the English have started writing books about baseball. How many books would there be if England had won in those scenarios? Our afterglow lasted 48 hours. Three people turn up to see Cummo at the airport and a fucking driver. <laughs> That was it. Now, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it does mean that a day like today, despite Australia driving the game forward to potentially win by innings, still feels like there's question marks over this creaky, aging side. <laughs> couple of question marks, mate. I've got a couple how, of questions. How was Shamar Joseph on debut permitted to take five? You know, that is, that, they are the signs that something is, something is afoot, something's amiss. You know, the yes. famous. Uh, in 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 yeah. Australian cricket, uh, you know, I, I liked how we were in the studio today, and Australia were struggling. They was was what was it six for one thirty or something like that. You you jumped onto bet three six five. Windies are paying twelve bucks to win. Australia dollar four. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello pussy, hello puss puss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one for the YouTubers. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> you know, you have a day like today, and it does feel <laughs> unders to me. Uh, you know, like playing against a team look like they're dressed in Lowe's kit. Uh, you know, there's a, the, 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 the kid, the kid who takes Pfeiffer was out shopping with Barat for an arm guard a couple of days ago. You know, I like and yep. I like that. I like that our fucking pampered superstars can't put up with a guy that was bowling with a tape ball eighteen months ago. I fucking like that. I like yep. that for him. Yeah. But you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I guess I'm, um, you know, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the fence with it. I can see objectively they're good. We just, you know, we we just don't we just don't know what we want, you know, or whatever it is that we want is completely unattainable. Um, we will talk about Shamar Joseph, who has obviously been like just sensational um, in this game. And if anything, Australia has helped um, to blood, uh, you know, Amal Jameer. Um, mm. um, and um, <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't get it. It's, no, hang on, yeah. I don't. I've forgotten his yeah. name now. Amir Jamal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. that one. Yeah, yeah, and also Shamir Joseph, um, Joey. <laughs> Uh, you know, so Australia has really helped, you know, blood and, and support Test cricket by giving these guys like great results in their sort of breakout Test series, if you will. But t- but Peza, today is all about 
It's all oh, about yeah. the bin lid. Yeah, here we go. Um, it, in, in many ways. So first of all, we'll just shout out to Smith Optics Australia, smithopticsaustralia.com. Use the code FAST for 25% off. These bad boys that either Pezza and I are wearing right now, um, using the code FAST, 25% off, Smith Optics Australia. I think people already know the message. They know they know, and they like it, and they've been getting behind it. Um, Travis Head was wearing these bad boys at short leg or bat pad, whatever your proclivities are in your life involving dolls, mannequins, names and numbers on the back of mm. jerseys, turning them over, going to work Look, in your with basement. With a bag strapped um, o- around your neck. If that's what you prefer. Um, Travis Head takes the catch and he just sets off and he wheels away after scoring 119 or whatever he scored off. Not many more balls than that. And it's, it's, it's the bin lids day. It's the bin lids day. First time he scored over 40 this summer. Um, tough wicket, it would, you would suggest. Um, though, of course, the people that didn't play would have definitely scored double hundreds. Uh, and so mistakes need to be um, answered for uh, from the selection panel, in my opinion. Um, but Travis Head, it's his day, Pezza. Oh, there's no better bat to watch around the world uh, in full flow. Uh, just the, the the slap was back. Um, the, the way the ball, it just slides off the bat or crunches through the onside when he plays that. Pull shot, it's just a joy. Uh, just a moment to make the point. Like, is there a, is there a player in the Australian team? Like, he's so, he's so fucking vibrant. He's so full of vibe and energy, Travis Head, particularly as we get to know his personality a bit better. Like, you, you can't think of a player in the Australian side, you know, more likely to score 100 at home, even if he'd made a blob, like, in his last 10 digs or whatever, because he's at home. Like, he, he's a family and friends guy. You know, and also join our Patreon mm. if you'd like to hear a story about a friend of his breaking into his house uh, as a child. Um, but that's that's for Patreon. Uh, this coming from hashtag I said to say far as coming out tomorrow. Yes, yes coming so, out tomorrow. So um, uh, that that's the show tomorrow. But uh, yeah, like it, it it he's just such a hundred at home guy, and there'd be fifty people in the crowd, uh, just or maybe not even watching him, maybe at the back just drinking uh, and and cheesing to Hetty. Yeah. And I think. The nation needs that at the moment. Uh, so mm. he's done it again. Just, um, just a little like note on Hetty. Uh, loves loves 100 when his team needs it. Uh, mm-hmm. Hetty, like they, they were low-key in a bit of trouble and the guys who were batting above him all look like dog shit at the moment. Uh, so, again, you know, he stepped up. He obviously did it at the World Cup. He did it at the World Test Championship yep. as well. Uh, I'm not saying does Brisbane all the time. at Last Ashes. Yeah, uh, runs yeah, Brisbane at the Ashes. Yeah, that, that's uh, right. Hobart, Hobart. I want to say as well. He's, in the fifth he test. he, lo- yeah. he likes a tough hundred, which often when mm. you're a player of such like scintillating um, like kind of aggression uh, that that basically like magnetizes all the all the people's attention. Hello, pussy. Uh, <laughs> it can get uh, forgotten that you've actually scored runs under pressure. Uh, it's just that he does mm. it in a really entertaining way, which I think makes him doubly value, valuable to the side. You know, it's it's pressure-filled runs that look fucking amazing. Uh, and he's done it again yep. today against threes. Uh, yeah, again today. Yeah, well, I, th- I think you. I think you're so right though, Pez, about just like just the, the, like all these mates getting together, probably at the back, may maybe filtering with a lager in hand, having a conversation with a security guard about being let in. No, no, it's, it's okay. I yeah. know Hedy. I, I, you know, I, I, I know with the him bin tree. Yeah, that's right. Does he know you are? I, I wouldn't ask him, but yeah, he knows. Yeah, um, like I can just imagine the WhatsApp group just heading into just like, are you going to go go to the test this year? Just days off work. Yeah, Hedy's going to play. Yeah, he's 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 got some tickets and yeah, and that's how people talk as well. Um, but I can, I can just imagine that speech, like, speech pathologist as a child, and I'm still <laughs> kind of dealing dealing with just spitting yeah. it out. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite my favorite movie is The King's Speech, and I like it when he puts the music on, then he can talk normally. But uh, 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 yeah, with respect, with respect, um, with, with respect to Clive Owen. Um, anyway, um, Clive Owen was not in that movie, uh, <laughs> but still, it's <laughs> just want to make sure you just pay not your respects to Clive Owen. <laughs> yeah, not to be used as Wilfred Owen, his cousin. Um, okay. <laughs> it was a bit big fan of poetry anyway mm. um yeah i just like Hetty is just so boys he's so boys mm. home hundreds 
done it again against the West Indies two summers in a row. I mean, that's a day out for his mates on the WhatsApp group is all I'm saying, I suppose. Yeah, and, and like just of a pattern, um, Greg Blewett doing the bell this morning. Just again, that little, that just that little oh, uh, yeah. w- lovable yeah. affection at Adelaide screw loose, you know? Just smashing Adelaide, that. How good. Smashing that bell, yeah. then a bit of the Ric Flair woo, you know, arguably mm. Ashley Schaefer as well. He's bound and down, shout out and respect to him, um, played by Will Ferrell. Uh, and and so a, a good old Adelaide day, you know, for Australia, despite being in trouble for several hours of the day. The, this Australian team, so like, I think the other thing is people don't know how to pitch this team because they play, they play this sort of, uh, they play this percentage cricket. The Aussie team, a lot of the guys don't seem to be in form or particularly attractive to watch at the moment, mm-hmm. and they seem to have this trait where they they can turn it on when they need to. They they're not like um. They're not pursuing like gluttony and bulk. They're not buying in bulk at Co- Costco with the feed bag. Um, it's just one or two of them do it every game, and that's kind of all they they need. I believe that that's because they've just had an enormous year, and it's very difficult to arouse yourself every single hour of every single day's play, particularly when this team is such a fucking club. Like it's it, it's true that it's harder to get out than in. They all play every game. Mm. That like three quarters, four fifths of the side of the white ball side as well. I just think they, uh, someone's doing the job when they need to. You know, they're a bit unders with the bat. It seemed, um, and at this moment in time, he goes, "Can we shout out that I will be disappointed if there aren't at least fifty comments uh, underneath highlighting that we haven't noted this this game's nearly over after the second day, uh, influenced mm. by the pitch." Why no chat yep. about the pitch? Game's nearly over, you know? Okay, we're not saying it's Gabba stuff, but it has been honking uh, at times in terms of the seam movement. But it's slow seam movement, so we discriminate against that. Any pitch chat? I mean, that may also explain the Aussies being unders with the bat all summer. Yes, they've been unders with the bat all summer, but they've won every single test match and will do so in this one as well. Maybe if you play the game of cricket, you understand it's hard to score runs when the deck is in the... Um, ballpark of honking sea movement for an Australian summer. Are we ever happy? You know, finally we've got decks that are competitive mm. uh, between teams, mm. but we're not happy. We wanted bulk. I don't know. Uh, matches over too soon. Call it out. It's Racism. Funny. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, the deck isn't great, but it's like I'm looking at the six wickets that have fallen. I didn't even say the scores, by the way, but you know, whatever. Well, yeah, um, good. Uh, yeah, people can figure it out. Um, it's it's two nil Island. Um, <laughs> so Brathwaite is caught at tra- uh, by bat pad at Travis Head. Seems in, probably does enough. Good catch. The wicket before that was Chanderpaul, uh, which is a good ball. Um, just just nips Nick. away. And then and then um, uh, who is it? Uh, Alec <laughs> um, is caught by Carey from a short ball. So that's a bouncer. Hodge uh, tries to cover drive, a half volley, nicks it. Uh, Greaves at the end there, LBW line around the wicket, not really blowing the pitch. What was the other one? Uh, I was... Um, Did someone just spit uh, one to cover? It was. I mean, um, uh, uh, yeah, McKenzie. McKenzie just uh, tries to drive on the up, hits it straight to cover. I mean, uh, like it's so, so look at those six wickets. I'm just saying, like, it's shit batting. But when Australia batted, I thought the wicket was actually had a bit of juice in it. So, um, <laughs> when, you, you know, when the West Indies play, it's threes. And when Australia mm. are unders, ah, oh, gee, the deck's got, gee, the deck's got to be in it. What, 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 what's, what's, yeah. what's Hoffy done with it this year? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh. shout out to um, the Mitch Marsh dismissal. That was funny. Sort of embarrassing oh. for Marsh, <laughs> I guess. Like, yeah. I think he... <laughs> nicked it five Nick, times. Nicked it seven, seven times. They said that he, he, they found That's the outside seven. edge and that, that particular <laughs> position. Was, I talk yeah. about being exposed. It's like, we, like, you know, people like, I'm always skeptical about people talking about plans in test cricket. Of course, you have a general plan, but there's so many fucking nuances and little things that can happen around the ball, hitting the edge, not hitting the edge, like little subtleties of line or whatever. But people can't control it to that degree. But like, literally, Mitch Marsh is playing the same shot and it going in the same direction with his edge. It's a very, very good nicking, you know? Uh, yeah. And then to have that position there, that was, that was good shit. That was, that was really good gear. And I'm really glad to see the West Indies develop as a nation, which yeah, is what uh, uh, Damien Martin called them today. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how the elections go uh, next time for the West Indies nation. Um, 
Six for 73. They are for 22 runs behind, four wickets remaining uh, in their third innings. Um, so speaking of good shit that happened today, Pezza, um, need to talk about Joseph, that being Shamar Joseph, who took five for 94. Um, celebration's awesome. Yep. His quotes are awesome. His yep. story is awesome. Um, it's a, once again finding this really difficult when Australia is going to win the game by an innings to not sound extremely condescending. Mm. Um, but, we'll try our best. So I don't. Um, okay, um, I think he would play second grade in Sydney Test cricket. <laughs> That's fucked up. That fuck, he'd be, fucked up. fuck, he'd be a good player. <laughs> There'd be some very scared blokes. Yeah, but to be fair, Pez, our ones are quite strong this year. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, indeed. There yeah. it is. Toss it up. <clears throat> They're coming eighth. Um yeah, uh, it's fucking awesome. Story awesome, bowling awesome, vibe awesome, quotes awesome, speaks well, uh, represents mm. himself well, mm. um, seems like a great team man, just loves playing cricket. Um, don't trust that for, for one second. Let's get that clear. Mm. But, um, fuck, man. This is like Travis yeah, a bit about saying, him. Oh, this guy's legit. Yeah, got a bit about yeah, him. Awesome. So that's mm. great. Well, uh, welcome, to te- welcome to Test Cricket, Shamar. From a from a bloke yeah, from, in, from us. From a bloke in West Footscray, looking like he's just sold fucking three grams of Coke. Welcome, mate. Welcome, well, mate, welcome to the welcome to the <laughs> three. When? Welcome to the arena. Um, but yeah, I mean, the game is very much in the realm of like, hey, you brought your sticks, didn't you? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Week weekend off circuit. Everyone, everyone talking now about West Sydney circuiting tomorrow night on Friday night. Yeah. Fucking out good. Um, I know a couple of chewers that'll be out on the, on the circuit. On, Who's on that? Friday Name night. them. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> No. Um, I'm looking at Patreon now, Pezza. Uh, Patreon.com okay. forward slash great cricket. If you want to join the community, midnight tonight is when hashtag Ask TDC Fridays drops. Um, where, yeah, there is a story about Travis Head and um, someone breaking into his parents' house. Um, I'm looking at uh, the, the, the live commentary here, though, on uh, on the chat for Patreon. Um, taxi from Fake Taxi Fame said, Crazy horse for the boys. Mm. Uh, facing bumpers, copping thumpers, saying, Old Bush horse deserves a salt lick tonight. Mm. Um, Toby said, All out for 36 a pass. The Caribbean Century? Question mark. Mm. Um, taxi again from Fake, ta- fake, fake Taxi Fame talked about Brian Lara. Actually looks like he could go in there, hit a ton. Now, you might have seen this, Pezza, on the Fox coverage. Brian Lara... Um, mm. Uh, on the Fox coverage these days and uh, looking pretty good in the nets, striking them nicely. Do we need to call our jets about a bloke having a, having a net um, or or do you think it's in? Or do you think it's good? Do you like it? Yeah, I, I, I like it. Like, um, <clears throat> But again, like it's just – it's because it harks back to like childhood stuff. Like it's not so much the striking yeah. of the ball or the fact that he's in a suit. He's uh, 54. Right, uh, Studio it's, it's it's oh okay, thanks. Uh, it's just the way the like with him in particular. It's for me, it's all pick up. It's it's and and flourish, uh, but like the pit the pick up and the way that the the duck of the head and the symmetry of the of how high the bat goes, where his elbow points and how his head just ducks. I just thought it was really great of Camo not to extend when um when it it looked like there was the opportunity there for him to extend the day by half an hour with the windy six down, uh, even mm. though I'd say that it'd almost be unprecedented and it wouldn't border on arrogant. It would be deeply arrogant to ask, even ask the question when the answer would be no, <laughs> except that we all knew that it was a vo- valid question. And I, again, yeah. I think he shows his, um, not only his political wares, but also what a snowflake he is. Uh, and that's exactly yeah. why he'll never have the popularity of the real Australian populace. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be a fascinating day's play tomorrow. That's right, a full day. Um, uh, I would suggest that you can sell your tickets uh, for your Saturdays or your Sundays, days like Saturday or Sunday, yeah, days yeah. like not your not. four or your five. Um, um, but, uh, but hey, if you're in Adelaide tomorrow, go and get yourself down to Adelaide Oval and enjoy yourself a wonderful, wonderful test match about to be concluded um, probably pretty quickly, probably in the first session. Uh, thanks as always for joining TJC. Thank you very much for Smith Optics Australia for these bad boys. Use the code FAST for 25% off at smithoptixaustralia.com if that's what you want to do. We'll see you guys at the close of play tomorrow, whenever that is. Let us know in the comments when that's going to be. Cheers.